A slack hand causes poverty, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. Welcome back to the Dominion Podcast, episode seven of season two. There we go. How you doing? I'm I'm doing well. For our uh, watchers, this is a, a fellow named Steve North. I just bumped into him out on the street out front of the studio. Panhandling. We got talking about work and how awesome it is, and uh, thought I'd have him on to have a little discussion here while yeah, we're waiting thank you. for our alpha host. You know, uh, we were just we were having a, we were having a conversation, and we thought we should record this conversation because it was it was pretty important. Yeah. So yeah. why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? <clears throat> what do you do? What does so, you do here? <laughs> Uh, so I, I'm a lead carpenter for a company, uh, kind of locally and just kind of spearhead that for the company, uh, really part of the driving force, uh, that really gets things done in a day. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I work with a couple other Christian dudes that we know and, um, try to be an encouragement to them and pass on any skills and knowledge that I have and, and help them better themselves with their hands. Yeah. Have you found, uh, how big is your company that you work for? Uh, it's, it's a smaller family business. So okay. yeah, really, you know, 10 people and under right. kind of thing. Have, has your company found it hard to keep employees or find new people that are interested? Yes. It, it really seems that the majority of the people, you know, under 30 aren't interested in working hard or doing anything like that. And anyone over 30 pretty much is, is our, established. Anybody yeah. that's going to get into the trades is already in the trades. Yeah. yeah I got into the trades when I was 33. Okay. 32. Uh, so it was pretty late in the game, yeah. but uh, wasn't presented as an option to me until a friend just asked me if I want to do some work. Mm. So I was like, sure, I need some work. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Interesting though, that that demographic um, is not interested in that kind of work. Mm -hmm. It's funny though. I, they don't seem to be interested in too many different kinds of work at all. Yeah. Or they're looking for something. I don't know if it's mostly computer based or whatever, but, um, well, especially in our, our culture, the Canadian culture, right? Like our government has seems like it has no interest with encouraging young people to get off a couch and do something in a day. Right. They're really more just, Hey, we'll pay you to stay at home and have a mediocre life. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it is a mediocre yeah, life, yeah. but uh, but people people look at it the other other mm. way. I saw a video this week of a woman ranting about the forty hour work week. Mm. I don't know if you saw that one. It no, was one of these TikTok no, no. crazy okay. libs or something. It was on uh, libs of TikTok, I think. Oh no, I was probably working. And, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's too busy working. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was working too. I probably just took a break. Okay. You know, <laughs> no, but she was uh, opining the. Uh, just the the um, oppressiveness of having to get up for work, yeah, and and get ready and go to work by nine and work all day till five and then and then do that five times a week. Yes, and it's yeah. unbelievable. Mm. And uh, I know the feeling when I first started working full time. I remember thinking I'm gonna have to do this for the rest of my life. Yeah, and being really depressed. Mm. But then you know after a while you just get used to it. That's yeah that's the way it is. I I find that the odd time that I actually have any time off, which is quite rare. Um, I end up doing more work than I would probably do in a normal work day. And I think it's just the way huh. we're designed as men. Like we're meant to kind of like a truck, like a truck rides. Okay. Yeah. But you put a load on it. It runs a lot smoother. That's true. Kind of thing. And so I think as men, we need to be loaded up way more than we give ourselves credit for right. because we actually can by, handle it by taking <laughs> on more and doing all that. We actually grow as men and, and yeah, yeah. Then we can. <laughs> no, that's, that's really in interesting. That. that is that is how you grow. Yeah, and I think we all have that uh, when we're young and we don't understand that. When you first encounter hard labor, <clears throat> like you know, for me it was uh, you know helping dad reshingle the roof or yep. whatever you're doing. Some you know helping put up a fence or you know I used to go visit a buddy, uh, family friends of ours, and every time we went, his dad would put me to work. Yeah, me and my, my brother and I, he would put us to work, like real work, you know, like clean out the chicken coop. Yeah, you know, uh, let's go to the forest. Dirty work. Let's go into the forest and get some logs yes. so we can build something. Exactly. And I hated it. I hated it so much, <laughs> and I felt so bad for my buddy because you know I was like, you got to live with this all the time. But it turns out he's a super productive guy because yep. he grew up doing things. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's that's interesting. Um, 
it, I, it's and the other thing about it is is attitude towards work. Okay. What what's your attitude like? Do you because a lot of people think you know they kind of place work under the the curse aspect mm. of creation. Yeah, th- I mean there are, there are days that are thorns and thistles straight up, um, but having a routine that realistically is quite biblical of working mm-hmm. days of the week, Six days Sunday, show labor. <laughs> Sunday, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to chill out. We're going to go to church. We're going to have our fellowship group. We're going to do all that. But um, yeah, like it's, it, it doesn't bother me. And, and like I was saying, it, if we get up to the cottage or something in the summertime, it's, it's go time. Like I wake yeah. up in the morning and I'm, I'm ready to go. It's like, I'm splitting wood. I'm moving docks. I'm doing something. I can't, I can't not work or be productive. It's yeah. just not who I am or who I was raised to be. And, and, uh, I wasn't necessarily raised in a Christian, solid Christian home. Um, but the idea of working, my dad was always working, always yeah. working on something. And yeah, seeing, seeing other men just in our culture who have that same drive, um, I think is, is an awesome godly thing. Yeah. Um, and just really instilling that in men and trying to raise up a next generation of, of men who are productive, who can do amazing things. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a fulfillment to it yes. that people don't understand until they've done it. Absolutely. Like when you're dead tired and you're driving home and the sun's going down, yeah. like some of the best days of my life are after a long day of mm. work, you're tired. You know, for me, it was like, I'm going to throw on some Creedence Clear Water Revival and I'm just be like, ding, you're on the way home. And you're like, yeah, all right. <laughs> you just, you're feeling yeah. good, you know? Yeah. There's, there's a fulfillment there and that's baked into the cake, right? Yeah. God commands us to work, uh, but he also gives us fulfillment in that work. Mm-hmm. Even though, like you said, there's thorns and thistles, like the curse. Yeah. Um, the curse in Genesis 3 talks about the, it, do, it doesn't say that now that there's a curse, you're going to have to work. Because they always, the the command to work was there prior to the fall, but now they've got to work, but it's going to be harder. Yes. Yep. But God still does bless the work of your hands. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, uh, and I've, thankfully I've kept all my digits. I haven't lost anything. And, and, uh, what's a finger or two anyway? (laughs) Well, I mean, I, (laughs) I, you know, I am a carpenter, but I also, I, I, I paint, I cut hair, I, I find lots of things to do with my hands. Hmm. And, uh, and so God's gifted me with a lot of skills and abilities and, uh, and yeah, like by God's grace, I'm just continuing to learn more and more and more. Um, do you find that the manual work you do helps with your artistic work? Yeah. Is there a correlation there? Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely, there's definitely a balance there of, you know, mental juices kind of flowing. Um, and, you know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm working, doing a similar thing every day. And, uh, and then my brain just wants to be creative and do something else. Right. But, uh, but I think built into all of us, you know, in the beginning God created. And so we are all creative beings. He's a creative being and we, we have that in us and mm-hmm. I just can't not be creative, whether that's right. going to work, building houses, building a deck, coming home, yeah, there's an doing some woodworking, working on work. a vehicle. Yeah. Like I'm just always doing something and having that creative outlet and, uh, and getting to do that with, with my wife and children now. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's great being able to share that and, and how, many, that uh, how many kids do you guys Three. Have? Yeah. And boy. So your wife's name is Christy. Christy. Yeah. And yeah. You've got a boy and boy, girl, boy, boy, girl, boy. Yep. All yep. right. And, uh, yep. Sometimes being productive is doing jujitsu or rock climbing right. or something, but, uh, you know, always finding something to do with my hands. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how old are the kids? Uh, Wesley's just about to turn nine. Elsa's, oh, yeah. Elsa's so he's six and probably got like three four. jobs already now, man, that so kid he's saving up for retirement yet. That, or? that kid <laughs> has, I'm, I'm recognizing obviously so many similar skills, but then also things that he's interested that I'm now needing to learn about, um, to be able to teach him about yeah. the interests that he has. But, uh, yeah, he's definitely going to be apples not falling far from the tree with, with awesome. that one. That's great. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. great. Well, this has been uh, a real nice surprise. Real nice surprise, Steve. <laughs> real nice, Clay. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Uh, You're welcome. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I guess we could call this a, a mini Dominion Minute or a Domini Minute or something yeah. like that. Anyway, Perfect. This is the While We're Waiting for Alex to Show Up episode of the uh, well Dominion Podcast. Week. Yeah. You might as well do it every <laughs> week. I find some though. other straggler on the street, bring him in, and uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Anyway, thanks, man. It's yeah. been it's been great uh, getting to know you a little better. And of course, we'll leave everybody with this. May he have dominion from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. May all kings fall down before him. All nations serve him. 